Time now for that morning rush. We start with Kristen Curry. Good morning. Looking at increasing cloud cover over southern and western New Mexico today, we could even see a few spot showers make it into the southwest corner. Tomorrow looks to be a better rain day for us. You see more coverage of these showers and isolated thunderstorms. Eastern New Mexico, you get those rain chances on Sunday. Crystal? Start with some breaking overnight news for you. APD says they're investigating a fatal car accident involving a pedestrian. Information limited this morning, but police say it happened around 10 last night at the intersection of San Mateo and McLeod in northeast Albuquerque. Officers say the pedestrian died of his injuries on scene. Once we know more, we'll be sure to pass it on. And neighbors in one Albuquerque area say they are more than ready for next month when stricter rules for front yard parking go into place. They're frustrated over the number of cars parked in front of this home near Coors and La Uria. But the city says since the home was built before 2007, the owners are allowed to park as many cars as they want. However, new rules will change that. The rules go into effect on May 17th and carry fines of up to $500. Looking ahead for you next month, Nehemiah Griego is set to head back to district court so a judge can reconsider whether he should be sentenced as an adult. Griego killed his five members of his family when he was 15. He was supposed to be released when he turned 21, but before his birthday, the Court of Appeals ordered a judge to take another look at the case to see if he should be sentenced as a, an adult. Griego's attorney appealed that decision. Yesterday, the Supreme Court rejected the defense's appeal. Griego's next hearing is scheduled for May 15th. Governor Susana Martinez says she will deploy about 150 troops to help Border Patrol agents with their duties. That number is down from the 250 soldiers she previously said she would send. Guard members were sent to the border earlier this month at the request of the Trump administration. Now, the governor says there's no timeline for how long National Guard troops will be stationed along the U.S.-Mexico border. Also breaking overnight, about four hours ago, North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un stepping across the country's shared border for a sit-down with South Korea's president, Moon Jae-in, both declaring the end of the Korean War will happen this year. The historic summit largely focused on the North's nuclear weapons arsenal. Kim now saying he's getting ready to get rid of his nukes. The meeting is also a precursor to President Trump's planned talks with the North in just coming weeks. Developing now, actor and comedian Bill Cosby is free on $1 million bail this morning while awaiting sentencing on three charges of aggravated indecent assault. A Pennsylvania jury believed his accuser, Andrea Constand, who testified Cosby drugged and molested her at his home in 2004. Cosby's attorneys plan to appeal. Happening today, the so-called Golden State Killer scheduled to make his first court of appearance. Investigators believe Joseph James D'Angelo is behind a string of killings and rapes dating back decades. Prosecutors revealed they used DNA collected from a crime scene, then compared it with genealogy websites in order to catch D'Angelo. Starbucks says it's reporting higher than expected profits from January through March. It claims sales were not affected by the protests over the arrests of two black men at one of its Philadelphia stores. Next month, all of the coffee shop's chain's locations will close for a day while employees undergo anti-bias training. On to new details now. Deputies say they've made 48 arrests during a joint warrant roundup. More than 100 officers with BCSO and APD combined resources yesterday to focus on violent offenders and auto burglars. The agencies also plan to organize other joint warrant operations in specific sections of the city. This spring, Cottonwood Rehab in Española says they're bracing for its bear cages to fill up fast because of the drought conditions. Officials say a lack of water sets off a domino effect among animals and are forced to make them come out of the mountains. The rehab center says on Wednesday they released the last of its bears from 2017. Kristen? Today's Metro Threat Index pretty low, only at a two because of some breezy conditions we have out there this morning. Those winds still at 20 miles per hour coming out of the east, but no problems this afternoon with highs in the 70s underneath that mostly sunny sky and winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Sarah? $23 million. That's what officials expect the gathering of nations to bring in this year. They're expecting 72,000 people at this year's event. It's also lucrative for the 400 vendors selling their own merchandise and the hotels throughout the city. About 60,000 room nights have been sold. The new event that has been added this year coming up in the five facts. On to new details now. Bigger is apparently better at Ford with the car maker accelerating a previously announced cost cutting plan. The automaker wants to reduce spending by over $25 billion by 2022. To do that, Ford plans to concentrate on SUVs and trucks and ditch cars like the Taurus. By 2019, its only sedan offerings will be the Mustang and a new model, the Focus Active. 
New this morning, starting May 11th, the cost of an Amazon Prime membership is jumping from 99 bucks a year to $119. The online retail giant reported a $1.6 billion profit for the year's first quarter. That's at its highest ever. Now, the company also reports that it has more than 100 million paid Prime members globally. Kristen? Time now for a check on traffic. Just one crash to tell you about. This has three of the left lanes blocked on I-40 eastbound between Eubank and Wantabo. Delay is expected, but the tow truck is on scene. Hopefully, we have that cleared shortly. Okay, listen to this, chocolate lovers. Another excuse to indulge in a little dark chocolate before you head to work this morning. Turns out it could help you see better. A study measured people's eyesight about two hours after they ate a dark chocolate bar. It found a slight improvement in vision. Pretty cool. Mm. All right, time now for the five facts. We start with number five here. All summer long, people can enjoy a gathering of food trucks in northeast Albuquerque. The Thursday food truck fest kicked off last night at Alvarado Park near San Mateo on Constitution. The park was recently improved with an upgraded playground, even some shady areas. Now there will be food trucks at the park every Thursday. People can come out, enjoy a picnic with their family, plus listen to live music. Thursday Food Truck Fest will continue until September. At number four, Albuquerque police say they haven't filed charges against two parents involved in a shooting at Highland High School yet, but they plan to do so. Police say Alex Placencio and Juan Salcedo did not know each other, but got into a fight while waiting to pick up their kids after school. Witness video shows the man police ID'd as Placencio swinging a bat at Salcedo. Police say both men don't want to press charges, but officers say they will pursue the case for felony charges. Number three now, an Albuquerque man beginning his 20-year federal prison sentence for setting a string of fires in 2016. David Hickman targeted nine businesses, including an Old Navy, Starbucks, an anti-abortion organization, and most notably the Carlisle Condos in Knob Hill. Despite Hickman admitting to the crimes in a plea deal, he never explained why he did it. On top of the 20-year sentence, he is also being ordered to pay $400,000 in restitution. And number two, spot showers over west central and southwest New Mexico today. Central and western New Mexico gets it tomorrow, so Albuquerque, make sure you have the umbrella on standby for your Saturday afternoon. Breezy and warm on Sunday. And at number one, North America's biggest powwow, the Gathering of Nations for Native Americans, is getting underway in just a few hours. The three day event is taking place at the state fairgrounds for the second year in a row. Officials say the international event has a $23 million impact on the city from 72,000 attendees. New this year is a Native American horse and rider parade along Main Street. Everything kicks off today at noon. It's International Sculpture Day. We'll have more details on that coming up on Fox New Mexico. All starting now, 7.